Welcome to the American Dream. I'm your host, Nelson Cruz. And I'm your host, Gretchen Carlson. And today we're at... The Lake Ridge Winery. Correct. So we're gonna take you on an amazing tour today here. We're on 127 acres at an award-winning winery. They've already won over 1,500 awards. And I'm sure there's so many more to come. It's beautiful in the rolling hills, and we're really excited to show you everything that we can today about this amazing winery. Let's give it a look. Let's go. We're here with Christian Sloop, the COO of the Lake Ridge Winery. Christian, tell me a little bit about the history. Yeah, certainly. Uh, so this actually started with my grandfather about 41 years ago up in Tallahassee. So it originally served as what was called Lafayette Vineyards. Wow. Um, about 35, 36 years ago, when the orange freezes happened here in Central Florida, we stumbled upon this wonderful piece of property, 127 acres, rolling hills, and we purchased it and established Lake Ridge uh, in 1988. Okay. So we've been around for about 35, 36 years. Um, my grandfather started it. My uncle is now the president of the company, second okay. generation, and myself is the third generation. So family owned and operated, um, and we, we like to treat all of our guests as family, piece of our family. Very nice. Yeah. What kind of wines are produced here? Yeah, so we, we have 19 wines that we produce total. Uh, we've got everything from dry to sweet. Uh, our staples are southern red and southern white. Which I love are, the southern red. Oh, it, it's awesome. It, it's about 45% of our sales. It's kind of what put us on the map. Tell me a little bit about what you grow here. Yeah, so we're sitting on beautiful 127 acres here in Claremont, Florida, rolling hills. Uh, we've got 70 acres of planted vines. So we're growing three varieties of grapes out here. We've got one red, which is our noble grape, and then two whites, which is a Carlos and a, a welder. So tell me a little bit about your events. Yeah. I am a big fan of the grape stomping, oh, yeah. which I think you start picking around August. Yep, yep. So we usually harvest the first week of August, August 1st last year. And then every weekend in August, we're doing a grape stomping here at the winery. It's an amazing thing, great for families to come out. Uh, I've got a picture actually from when I was five or six years old. And oh, in one wow. of those barrels, the barrel was about three times my size, but <laughs> it, it's really an awesome event and it's a great celebration of getting the, the grapes off the vines and kind of a sigh of relief for everyone that we've that's wonderful. Yep. And you know, you all do tours seven yep. days a week, which are a lot of fun, along with all of the great events. Yeah, yeah. Complimentary tours seven days a week. Um, love people to come out here and, and enjoy a free tour and tasting, and then hopefully buy some wine and enjoy it in our pavilion area or take it home with them. That's wonderful. Yep. And you get to enjoy these beautiful vines yep. and the rolling hills. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Great time today at the Lake Ridge Winery. Yes, let's go check out this multi-generational home. Let's go. Welcome to this multi-generational home in Sugarloaf Mountain in Central Florida. With affordability being a challenge, this has become a popular option for many families. Let's check it out. So Gretchen, tell me a little bit about the unique features of this home. This particular home is a multi-generational with two separate homes that are attached. The main home has four bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. Huge great room for entertaining and family time. And then the other home you can enter through the shared family pool and activities area. This is the family shared area. Great area. Isn't it? There is a full outdoor kitchen here for grilling. Zero Swim entry salt water pool. Swimming in the salt water pool, which is also amazing. So it's a great family shared area and Absolutely. the other home can enter right here from the side. So Gretchen, this is the in-law suite. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, this particular part of the home offers a full kitchen along with a living and dining area but it also has a second primary bedroom okay. that has a full ensuite bathroom and a second bedroom also with an ensuite. You know, and the thing is, is that although it's connected, there's still privacy, I think, between the families. It really does kind of bring the family all together in one place that's spacious enough for everyone to have the activities that are exactly. important to them, but still gives them the space that they need for yeah. individual life. Thank you for joining us on the American Dream today.